evenings. This is Alana. You may proceed with your questions. Greetings. Thank you so much, Alana, for being here. So I'm happy to start. First question is this. Could you tell me why some awakened people, despite their high frequency and positive actions, attract opposites into their reality? Yes, this is mainly caused by the fact that you still find yourself into a dualistic universe where in that way opposites still attract each other so there can be integration there can be lessons and two polar opposite frequencies of polarity can find a common ground to learn and grow from this procedure accelerates movement and keeps the energies in constant flow so creation may continue so in that way you can also view this as a growth process there is always a certain degree of challenge within each experience, each density and each dimension as these opposites are finding their balance point and this universal exercise, so to speak, is what keeps everything in motion as one of the basic rules of existence is that everything constantly changes and this constant change is being pushed and pulled through polar opposites for example what you might perceive as light and dark love and fear male and female so these opposite energies are what causes the constant shifting the constant movement the constant motion within a dualistic universe once you are aware of this mechanic you can find yourself in a neutral position you can in that way make this a positive experience instead of finding yourself victim to an outside mechanical system so as you become aware that a soul learns and grows from being brought into contact with a opposition you can use this knowledge to your advantage you can then have a more challenging situation used in a positive way you find your greatest power when you find yourself in the neutral middle as all polar opposite energies are looking to balance themselves out and from this balance point create a new experience so we would suggest to validate any opposites opposite or opposition that comes into your reality see it as a neutral tool that propels you forward not only your own personal journey but the journey of many types of consciousness many types of mass consciousness and beings 
they all learn, grow and evolve of the constant synthesis of these polar opposites integrating, learning and moving forward. This is a propelling system to keep optimizing and to keep moving forward. This is the system that the universe uses to create life, to create creatures, to create all types of animal and humanoid vessels by constantly having an opposition where then the being can learn and grow from to a certain point where the being becomes aware that it is creating its own reality, that it is constantly using both polarities of light and dark, positive and negative, for its own creation. So then you can come to a certain point where you are in a balanced state and can use both forces in a positive way where you can assist other beings becoming aware of this principle and how to use it in a positive and beneficial way. As a humanity, it is the greatest challenge because you are not aware or barely aware of this mechanic. It isn't your enemy. It isn't there to punish you. It's because of your limited awareness that it becomes more challenging that it, than it needs to be, that it can lead into suffering. So as you raise your frequency, your awareness will also start to rise and a conscious being can wield this polarity of negativity and positivity to its own beneficial use. You can start become a conscious manifester as you come to validate both polarities and find yourself in the neutral middle, understanding that both are needed to be able to create, to be able to have experiences, to be able to be a physical human and have a physical life. Both energies are needed and you can learn to see them as tools and not something you have to be victim of or something that is outside of you deciding your fate. This me mechanical system does not take away your free will. So we would like to invite everyone to start to accept these two polar oppositions within themselves as well from the perspective of as above so below the polarity of light and dark negativity and positivity are true in a microcosmic scale as well as a, in a microcosmic scale so you are within yourself also a reflection of this polarity so much of the struggles within a human society are caused of this polarity not getting balanced out. One of the polarities being pushed away, being shoved in the unconscious, being seen as inappropriate. This is what causes experiences such as pain and suffering. So once you become aware to validate both polarities and not push or resist any part of yourself, you will start to ascend this state of falling victim 
and you can become a conscious creator wielding both polarities. Thank you very much. Uh, the second question is, uh, please, can you give description of so-called indigo people, rainbow people and others and tell how they can pass through challenges more easily? Well, these are terms for different types of souls that came into the Earth physical reality at different stages, different time periods. As one type learned from the next, you could say that strategies were changed, possibilities were opened up, the forerunners had it in that way more challenging as the earth consciousness was still in a very low vibrational state once these volunteers started to incarnate. So around your millennial time change, many more beings started to incarnate to assist the ascension of the planet and the human collective. These are those types of beings. So they are beings that are more sensitive, more attuned to the non-physical realm, bring many gifts, are often more psychically developed, are more in tune, have more empathy and compassion. So these souls came in to assist humanity and to start to shift the mass consciousness of humanity. As you can imagine, this is a great challenge, which also leads to many personal challenges for these beings. They, of course, did come in with assistance and help. The main challenge is for them to wake up or was for them to wake up within a society that is built to keep you in a low vibration, to keep you thinking a certain way and to keep your thoughts to a certain limiting belief system. So the great challenge for these beings was to remind themselves of their mission. Many ET beings have been assisting to awaken these beings through dream contact, through meditation contact, to working with the higher self through intuition and synchronicities. So these forerunners and way showers have been of great assistance to the collective. The names that are used are just terms. They could have used any other name. The indigo color can be connected to the chakra. So these beings are in a higher state focused on the higher chakras. That's the way of interpretation. The reference to rainbow can be seen as beings that represent the full spectrum of light that bring in all the different chakras in a well-balanced proportional way. That remind everyone that there are a being of light. This is also a possible interpretation. So these volunteers have greatly assisted humanity and Gaia and are one of the main reasons that beings like myself can come forward, that ET contact will be possible that many people have awakened, 
many people have become channelers, spiritual guides and spiritual teachers. This is all thanks to these indigo and rainbow children that paved the way. So we are very grateful to them. Thank you very much. Uh, next question is this. Uh, can you give us any update when the highest probability of first official open contact is? The probability of official open contact is around the year of 2035. The period before that, there will be contact with individuals and small groups. So when you say official open contact, we perceive that as open contact with your governments, your presidents, your ministers, your kings and queens, your news media, your mainstream. So this will take place a lot further down the line as much more preparation needs to happen, much more shifting needs to happen before such a occasion is possible and preferable. So we would like to invite everyone to not so much focus on the official part, to not have this limiting belief that ET contact only counts when the president said so, when the news anchor said so, when the minister said so, these people are not more important than anyone else. These people have not more to say or not more importance than any other person who has made an ET contact. So this is also an important shift for humanity to stop looking at its leaders to validate them, to validate their own experiences, to look within and to look close by to your friends and family and stop thinking that you need to look up to some figure that is perceived as more important, more knowledgeable, more wise, and only he or she knows the truth, and only when he or she validates us, the ETs, only then contact really occurred. So please step away from this ID. It is very challenging to have further open contact with ETs when you have this negative belief system that someone outside of you needs to validate ETs and open contact. So please focus on your own experiences and do not think that anything needs to be official to be true. Wonderful, thank you very much. Next question, what actions can channelers or people who really want to be into that take in order to deliver messages in the best clarity and quality? Yes, so it's important to be in a high vibrational state for most as then you are better connected to your higher self, to be aware of all the concepts of what is a higher self, what is channeling, what is actually going on, to know about belief systems, filters and ego interpretation. So to understand that you have to put your own ego aside while channeling, so you can put the message through in a clear way to live a healthy and balanced lifestyle so your human vessel is suited to receive high vibrational benevolent frequencies. 
So second most important is just the intention and the excitement. The intention to help humanity, to help bring through positive and uplifting messages, to help bring to ancient forgotten knowledge, to help humanity remember who they really are. So these types of intentions will draw in benevolent beings who wish to assist humanity through you. So this is also very important. If you have the wrong idea of wanting to be a channeler or the wrong reasons, you might bring through some being, but it won't be to your benefit or the benefit of the collective. So it is important to know that potentially anyone can channel, but the intention of who you will channel and why you will channel is of course also of utmost importance. So we would say clear intentions, high levels of integrity, a open heart, a open mind are very important ground basis of being a good channeler. Thank you so much. Next question. In 2019, there was a transmission by Adronis of Sirius called the Golden Age 2000. 37 2038 in which he told us many things including that in that period earth with everything on it will move completely to fourth density after three days of darkness can you give any comments on that We do not so much wish to interfere or judge other channelers as there is a reason why they channel such messages and they are meant for a certain audience and certain people to help them in their journey. So these messages are meant for specific people who are drawn to his messages and need to hear such messages to shift certain frequencies within themselves and thus shift certain ideas about themselves, reality and their experiences. So these types of messages will not resonate with everyone. There's a reason why this is so. And there is a reason also why these types of messages are being spread for a certain public, for certain ears to hear. So these shifts within the people receiving the message can happen. Very good, thank you. Next question. After first official open contact takes place, the first major positive changes on our planet according to current highest probability. The first big changes is that will that people will start having different motivations as now many people might act out of fear, insecurity, sense of lack people will start to connect to their more expanded self, start to integrate their higher self and start to realize that they are part of a whole. And this will have the effect that people will start to act out of love, compassion, empathy, sense of unity, sense of integrity. So in that way, the heart of humanity will blossom and open up and the thoughts and motivations behind 
words and actions will greatly shift. And as you can imagine, this will have a major impact on your physical reality, your social interactions, your social structures, your culture, your governmental ideas, your economic structure. So it all begins with how a human feels within, how a human connects to his fellow human, how a human is vibrating. This makes all the difference. Everything starts within and is then reflected to the outside world. So this will be the biggest change, the change of how people act, from what intention they act, and what seems to be just a small change within will have a huge impact upon the earth. Thank you very much. Next question. What can you tell us about the properties of Moldavite crystal? The Moldavite crystal comes from a meteor that crashed into Earth and is thus that way a creation from outside Earth, from space, and holds this space frequency, this type of alien frequency. So in that way, the Moldavite crystal is a good tool for ET contact and higher self or interdimensional contact, as this is a high frequency stone that is in that way a gift from outer space. And it's also a certain awareness that was drawn to Earth. So crystals have a type of consciousness and they also have a type of intention. And this particular consciousness had the intention to crash and to turn into crystal material so it could help and assist humanity to connect back to its galactic family. Thank you very much. Um, and if I may, I'd like to ask a personal question. How is my Yael counterpart Lily is doing right now? And maybe she has any message for me. Yes, one moment, please. We perceive her as standing outside a ship with some other beings in her vicinity. She seems to be in some type of natural environment. The ship has landed onto a flat surface that is some type of grass field so you could say that at the moment she's having a type of field trip and is landed on the surface of a planet she is very joyful and she is saying hi thank you so much and i guess my final question would be what are you doing right now? How you are doing? What's your preparations and for what are currently? And if you have a final message for all the audience that is listening to this transmission. I am in my scout ship at the moment. I'm a first contact specialist, I'm specialized in establishing contact with Earth and integrating the hybrid children in the human civilization. So I teach about humanity and I'm also still a student myself. I would like to present the following message to humanity.
please open yourselves up. Many people were brought up to be very skeptical about the ideas of ETs. It's a subject that has often be ridiculed and marginalized and debunked. This is not a coincidence. It's not that someone out there is trying to be funny and making you all laugh. These are specific techniques that are used to stop you from connecting to us. So even though we are very playful and joyous beings, we would like to invite you all to start taking this all a little bit more serious. We do exist. We are real. We are your family. We have strong genetic connections to you. We are brought into life to specifically assist humanity. Many beings of our race are very excited about integrating with humanity and assisting humanity into a brighter and more positive future. We do understand that for many this all sounds like fairy tale and too good to be true as many have been taught that the world is against you and only suffering and pain are real so we invite everyone to connect to their inner guidance to their heart and to that divine spark within listen within listen to the inner voice that speaks of concepts as hope joy love and a better world listen to the inner whispers that are sent to you through your heart trust yourself in that way open up connect to nature, look at the stars at night. Maybe you will notice that one of the stars is moving. Open yourself up to the idea that you are not alone, that humanity isn't the only humanoid conscious self-aware species out there. Open yourself up to the idea that there's so much more possible that you were led to believe. We are here for you, we love you, you are our family, and we thank you. We wish you a wonderful time, and we hope to connect to you again soon. Thank you very much. My unconditional love to you, blessings, and till next transmission. Thank you, until next time, good day.